Assalamu alaikum. The students hope you all are fine and enjoying good health with the grace of Almighty Allah. It is week 14 and we are going to cover lesson 28, sorry 27 and 28. Our objectives of the lesson includes to inform guide and train the students about the following topics and it is also the agenda of our overall discussion workplace writing business letters main styles of the business letters main parts of the formal letters memorandum writing writing definitions definition types and techniques the students workplace writing basically is written communication in office and you know that in an office lots of communication is made orally as well as in written for example right when you get into your office your attendance is recorded fine when you reach to your table you find that there is a letter from the university or from your other company that you need to answer it okay next moment you open your laptop and you find that there is an email from the head office they are asking about the progress of certain people on a specific project okay well in the afternoon in your office is a meeting and everybody is attending there and you are asked to write the minutes of the meeting that the overall discussion made in the meeting and your responsibilities to make the minutes of the meeting and then write a report fine and also you have to generate emails and inform the other people who were absent in the meeting well the very next day one of your subordinate comes to you and he has a written application sir i can't come to my office because i feel influenza and other things thereby i am apprehended that i might not be fallen prey to the uh, covid 19 uh, fine or some other disease you read and answer okay what is this all this is a series of workplace writing that all the employees in different capacities and levels according to the responsibilities have to generate emails write notes on the files they have to develop case studies they have to write minutes of the meetings they design letters and they also do lots of things in the written form and this all the practice is extremely necessary to exist develop and progress in the organization so being an employee or an expert or a team lead you must be well excel in communication skills otherwise failure in any type is a question mark over your prosperity over your progress and so on your incentives fine i have given you just a view from a simple example that you easily can understand and all these 
things like the business letters there are miscellaneous types memorandums defining the procedures clear and many things this is all called workplace writing well next topic will be business letters that all official correspondence in according to with accordingly according to many different situations are called letters and you must understand that in government organizations for exchange of information through a due legal process normally is called letters for example uh, in this budget for example if the government has given a raise to the employees 5% or 10% or 20% one attendant goes to the office and asks her government has the government given us a raise when we are going to have the salary and they just answer one thing that we have not received the letter yet from the administration letter means intimation letter mean order letter mean request letter mean demand letter mean uh, clarification letter mean investigation fine so in a, a wider spectrum business organizations use letters the word letter fine styles that there are many different expression and styles applied to the technical and spe specifically business writing parts of the letters memorandums short sometime lengthy instant messages that express the policy instant order some new demands fine they are called memorandums and definitions are highly important in official come legal writing and also in the scientific writing that there are certain words they have special meanings clear and often the audience is not well versed about the real intentions and connotations of these words thereby the writer must give the definitions fine for example if you ever had a chance to read the legal matters or the official correspondence the words appear simple but they have a different meanings that's for example i use a word issues in common language issues means matters for example i have no issue with the organizations or i'm feeling f facing some issues means some tension some responsibilities but in law issues mean children for example when they are writing a family law word that both the the man and male and the female or the husband and the wife bear two issues named ali and ahmed fine so here issues a word in simple official language is different where in legal come official language is different thereby it becomes necessary for the writer to write definitions so that the audience may understand it clearly this first video is just about the overview that what we are going to do in these next discussions thank you very much